What is up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit that like button, it lets me know and it helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below, I try to respond to all the comments I can. And hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. Uh, this is two days worth of stuff, I'll show you the stuff that I grabbed the first day and then stuff that I grabbed the second day. So let's go ahead and jump into it. How much are the shoes? 13. Not bad for 20 bucks. Only thing is they're my size, so yeah. <laughs> How much is the jacket? How much you had it for 20? 20. How much are your shoes? 30? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, we are back. So let me go ahead and show you everything that I grabbed this weekend. So I'm gonna start off with the first day stuff. We'll start off with the video games. I picked up four DS games. I got all four of these for $50 total, which was a great deal because two of these games in this stack are actually worth 50 bucks each. And all of them are in great shape. They're all complete with the manuals and everything. So I'll start off with the um, cheaper of the four. First one is Kirby Superstar Ultra right there. Like I said, complete with the manual and everything. This one's actually already spoken for, so um, somebody's actually already gonna be buying this one off of me. And then the second one, uh, this one I actually already sold, and that is a copy of Kingdom Hearts 358 Two Days. There's so many Kingdom Hearts games, this is just another one of them. And then the two best games in the lot, the first one we got is Metroid Prime Hunters. Actually, this one's missing the manual. I totally forgot about that. But it does have all the like little inserts and stuff. And then the last one, the one I will be keeping out of the lot, is uh, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, and this one is complete with the manual and everything. I already have Phantom Hourglass. I thought it was this one that I had, but um, it's Phantom Hourglass, so I have to hold on to this one. Big Legend of Zelda fan. So not too bad for 50 bucks for all four of those. Picked up one jacket. I might have overpaid for this one a little bit. Um, I ended up spending $15 for it, and that is the uh, Nike Windbreaker right here. The pullover Windbreaker. It is on that 90s Nike tag. It's a size 2XL. You have the Nike swoosh right there embroidered on the chest. And then you have that gray cotton interior. I would have liked to get this one for like 10 at the most, uh, but I went ahead and scooped it up for the 50. And then the last three items I got on the first day were all sneakers. Funny enough, they're all Kobe's. So I guess it was a Kobe type day. We'll start off with the first pair that I paid $15 for. It's a pair of the Kobe 7s right here in this like purple and white colorway. I don't know what like the official name is for them. So unfortunately this pair um, in particular, the uppers was this white fly wire. So it kind of like yellowed over time from age. But other than that, they're not in bad shape. There is the other one. These have actually already been sold. And I actually sold these for more than I spent on all three of these pairs combined. So that is the first pair. The second pair, these are a little beat. Um, but I only spent seven bucks on them. Figure somebody could buy them and uh, hoop in them. And that is a pair of the Crazy Eights right here in this black and red colorway, size 10 and a half. So does have some scuffs on it. But like I said, they were seven bucks. There is the other one. Same issue, you got some little scuffs and stuff on the toe. So that was the second pair. And then the last pair that I picked up, grabbed these for $20. It was funny, these were in a pile of shoes on the ground, right? And there was a bunch of people digging through the shoes, but for whatever reason, they just threw these to the side and nobody wanted them. So I ran up and grabbed them. And for only 20 bucks, I got a pair of the Kobe 11s in the ULG colorway. And these I'm most likely gonna be holding on to because I um, really like this colorway. And look, they're super clean still too. So I'm, most likely I'm gonna hold on to these and I'm just gonna get rid of something else that's um, in my collection that I just don't wear. Got the stripes on one of the backs and on the other one, you got the eight and the 24. And usually when I find Kobe's like this, they always like ripped up in the fly knit or they have rips right here on the inside of the uh, ankles. But these are still super clean. So definitely gonna be holding on to these. 
So that was everything I found the first day. Now let's go ahead and jump into the second day's find. So I did pick up a uh, decent stack of games. I think it was like, I think it was about six games, but I didn't record any of them. I don't know why. Nothing amazing. Like it was like $10, $15 games. This was the best one in the lot. Um, and this is actually the only one I'm going to be keeping anyway. So I figured I'd just should throw it in here and show you guys. And that's Mobile Suit Gundam Seed on the PS2. And that one is complete with the manual and everything. And um, I got it for only three bucks. I don't collect a lot of PS2 anymore, um, but stuff like this I'll hold on to. So I guess I'll go ahead and do these. So I actually bought one of these off of somebody. And then when I told her that I actually collect this stuff, she was like, oh, well, I have two more. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll take those two. So I ended up grabbing three of these for $10 each, which I think is a good deal because they're all brand. They even still came in the plastic. But it's these Dragon Ball Z um, trading card binders right here from 2002. As you can see, you got Cooler on the front, Gohan Goku. And then on the back, you have Cooler, Piccolo, Krillin, Goku. And then down there, you got dated 2002 home cards. And like I said, they're all brand new still. So I grabbed three of these for $30 total, but like I'm pretty sure I can get my money back on just one of them alone. Um, I'm gonna be holding on to one definitely. And I try to find these online and I can't find them anywhere. So I guess they um, are kind of harder to find than I thought they were. I see the Pokemon ones all the time, but I never see the Dragon Ball Z ones. So when she told me she had three of them, I just had to grab them all. And here's the other two. Like I said, they're still in the plastic. I did pick up one hat for $5, and it's this Texas Rangers hat right here by Logo7. These have the big T on the front, and on the back you have Texas Rangers, and on the side you got the logo. Still really clean too, so for only five bucks, why not? I did grab one jacket, as you guys saw. Um, I grabbed this one for 15. He originally wanted 20, but he was like, you know, if you take it, you can have it for 15. I was kind of iffy on it, um, but I went ahead and grabbed it for the 15. And that is this Celtics jacket right here. And that one is on a NBA Fusion tag, size 2XL. You do have the little Celtics logo right there on the left sleeve. Unfortunately, nothing on the back. I did see a couple of these and they had like the big patch on the back for whatever reason this one doesn't. But I figured um, it being as clean as it was for only 15, I just grabbed it anyway. And then the last two items I grabbed are both sneakers again. I'll we'll start off with these. So these, I don't really like picking up youth shoes, especially youth shoes this small, like six, seven, I can do. These are size three and a half Y. Um, but the only reason why I grabbed them is because I did have these before and they actually sold pretty well. So I went ahead and just grabbed them again. And that's a pair of the What The Jordan 4s right here in a size three and a half Y. As you guys know, this is just a mashup of different Jordan 4s, Fire Reds, Militaries, White Cement, you know, the big ones. So both shoes are different. They're not the same, but still very clean. So that's why I went ahead and scooped them up for the 25. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can make a decent profit on these. Then the last pair I picked up, I grabbed these for $30 still in my opinion my favorite shoe of all time if you guys have been watching the channel then you know what it is that is a pair of the jordan flint 13s i wish these were a little smaller these are size 11 because i do own this pair but mine is the 2010 pair this is the newest release so this has the 3m my pair doesn't so it kind of sucks but they're a size 11 so they're too big for me i wish they were one size down i would have kept these and got rid of my other pair and uh, these things cleaned up really good way better than i thought they were when i found them they were stuffed in the bottom of like a clothes basket they were covered in dirt and they were kind of smashed but um after cleaning them up as you guys can see these things cleaned up really really good still in good shape uppers overall uh bottoms are a little dirty but nothing too bad definitely a great pickup for only 30 bucks so those are my flea market grabs for this weekend guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button it lets me know it helps the channel grow go ahead and drop a comment down below i try to respond to all the comments i can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos and i will see you guys next week with another one later